welcome students to the next video uh, dealing with uh, the fruits and here we are looking at uh, uh, a case uh, uh, which is called the palm and uh, this is a division of the uh, succulent fruits uh, which we have discussed uh, in the previous video and uh, what exactly is a palm? A palm is a uh, false or accessory simple succulent fruit. So what, what do you mean by an accessory? That, that's a key point. Accessory means that in addition to the ovary, now other floral parts are also involved in the development of the fruit. So that's, that's a key point. False or accessory. So that's a very important point. Uh, the second point is that it develops from a uh, inferior compound ovary. Compound uh, basically means that uh, it has uh, different sections. So, uh, I mean, the ovary um, is having some uh, basic cham chambers like things. So, and of course, it's inferior, which means that the ovary, the position of the ovary with relation to the floral parts is inferior. Uh, a third very important point is that. Uh, uh, pericarp is not differentiated into epicarp, mesocarp, and endocarp. So uh, we find the pericarp uh, in, in a fused uh, manner. Uh, a fourth a very important point um, is that the fleshy part, which basically means that the edible part is the lamus. And a very famous uh, example of uh, palm, the palm category is the apple. And uh, uh, when you do look at the uh, specific uh, uh, cut section of an apple, uh, we can easily see that uh, there are uh, certain divisions, uh, very very uh, marked uh, divisions, uh, very clearly seen divisions, and we have to start from the outside. Uh, of course, the first layer uh, of this particular fruit is the skin, which is the periderm, and uh, as already mentioned. Uh, a huge part of the fruit, in fact, uh, a considerable part of the fruit is, is the, which, which of course is the edible part, uh, is the uh, fleshy thalamus. And uh, going on, we have the pericarp as already mentioned, it's not differentiated into three parts. So, so you find the pericarp uh, inside the fruit. Uh, instead of uh, being uh, visible outside. So in this particular case, the pericarp is inside. Uh, so uh, reiterating the points, uh, starting from the outside, uh, we have the skin, which is the periderm. Uh, then uh, after the skin is the fleshy part, which of course is the edible part, that is the thalamus. This is a very important point uh, as far as the examination point of view is concerned. Uh, then going on, we have an inner pericarp as well as an outer pericarp. Uh, and now the point that the inner pericarp uh, contains the seeds. So, so these are the key points. Uh, and in addition, an interesting development is a kind of cartilaginous area. Uh, which also characteristic characteristic uh, the it is the characteristic of the pericarp. So these are the important points uh, as far as uh, this particular fruit belonging to the uh, palm category is concerned. Uh, once again, not the thalamus is the edible part. Going on to the last uh, major uh, division in in, in the. Uh, in plant morphology dealing with fruits uh, are the composite or the multiple fruits. Now the uh, term itself indicates, the wording itself indicates what we are looking at. Composite basically means that uh, multiple uh, ovaries are involved. Now we know that ovary along with the ovule uh, is the basic morphological structure developing in the fruits but in certain cases multiple, multiple ovaries may be involved which, uh, which basically means that we are looking at many flowers or uh, we are looking at an inflorescence which itself is uh, involved in forming a fruit. It's a very interesting development. So. Uh, you can, uh, what, what is the definition, how, how will you put it, uh, how will you put it in a sentence, it basically means a group of fruitlets developing from 
different flowers of an inflorescence so as already stated we are looking at multiple ovaries which are involved in the formation of a fruit and two uh, divisions of this particular category of fruits is sorosus and uh, cyconus first looking at sorosus uh the important point is that uh, sorosus develops from a spike or a female cat cat skin um now female cat skin and the spike uh, all this uh, uh will be discussed in detail uh and end the video on the specific video dealing with inflorescence so uh, please don't forget to watch that video dealing with inflorescence and to uh, better understand uh, this case uh, we are looking at a um we will be looking at particular examples beginning with uh mulberry now mulberry is quite a uh, famous fruit and uh, uh it's an uh, it's a typical example of a sorosis and uh, uh we can see that uh, instead of a single well formed fruit we have fruitlets that's something like uh less developed uh, small fruit pods so, or multiple fruit like things occurring together to form a, a uh, common fruit body that's the point uh so mulberry moses alba so it develops from a female catkin and uh, uh as already indicated uh the the ovary of ovaries of each flower uh, become seedless uh fruitlets or nutlets which are called achene so that so that's a key point um the diagram itself indicates that we are dealing with fruitlets and and not the point that um the technical botanical name for that is uh, achene so the ovaries of each flower uh becomes uh, small seedlets uh fruitlets or nutlets uh, which are called achenes and a very important point as far as uh, mulberry is concerned is, is what is what part is the edible part and that is the um the whole fruit is edible but uh, specifically uh, it's a perianth uh so in mulberry uh moros alba the perianth is fleshy and juicy uh even though uh, we can call the whole fruit uh, uh, edible so but as the specific region is perianth uh, which is fleshy and juicy so uh, the next case we'll be looking at uh, is a another very famous uh, uh, fruit that is the pineapple um the pineapple um the bota botanical name is ananas or camosus uh here Once again, uh, um, as already mentioned in this particular division, composite fruits it it it's developing from an an inflorescence, and the inflorescence is a um, intercalary spike. So, uh, looking at a cut section of of the fruit, we can see that there's a there's a something like a mid ridge like thing, uh, mid point. Uh, a kind of a middle point which is running from the uh, top of the fruit to the bottom and which uh, which which is the peduncle which is uh, even though it's not it, it's fleshy uh, it's not that it's not like a pulpy case so it's it's fleshy but not that pulpy uh, so that middle portion of uh, the thick portion which we uh, see when we cut a uh, cut a pineapple is is the peduncle uh, which is fleshy uh but uh, you can't call it a new juicy and it's not that edible so and uh, um the key point is that once again as we discuss in the case of mulberry here here also we have fruitlets but but it's the fruitlets are something like part of the uh major fruit fruiting um, structure and uh, it's arranged uh, something like that you have the bracts which are something like spines coming from the surface of the fruit so not those points you have a fruitlet um which is something like arranged uh, throughout the fruiting body you have spines like thing coming out the bracts and the fleshy peduncle so uh pineapple develops uh, from a 
intercalary spike of sterile flowers not the point the flowers are not pollinated the flowers are, flowers are not we are not dealing with flowers which uh, which are fertilized to forming the fruit so we are dealing with sterile flowers freshy pedungle and the bracts which i already mentioned as seen as small spiky structures going on to another famous uh, example uh, especially in the tropical regions is the um, jackfruit jackfruit uh, artocarpus heterophyllus a uh, very famous uh, common fruit uh, uh, which has a characteristic shape here uh, the rind is uh, so uh, the key points are the first point is that the rind is uh, spiny uh once again uh, in this case uh, a very important point as far as the examination point of view is concerned it is what part of the jackfruit is uh, edible so it's the peduncle and the perianth of the individual flowers which are which are fleshy and uh, therefore that's that's the edible part so the peduncle and perianth um so not the point it's the peduncle and perianth of individual flowers and you have um as quite seen in the previous case you have nakin like uh, fruitlets are also seen so once again uh, don't forget about the peduncle and perianth and going on to the second division uh, of the category of uh, that is the composite fruits we have the cyconus and um once again uh, uh, and this kind of uh, discussion in, in in this kind of divisions uh, a very modern point is uh, what kind of inflorescence are inflorescence are we dealing with so cyconus develops from an um it's developed from a hypanthodium so uh, all these uh, de- will be discussed in detail in a, uh, in, a, in a video dealing with uh, inflorescence so it, it developed from an hypanth- a, a hypanthodium the recept- receptacle is so uh, flask like and fleshy so now the point that uh, it's fleshy which basically indicates that uh, that part is the edible part and more than that there's a small pore uh, which is uh, covered by protected by scale leaves and a typical um, important example of cyconus is the common fig the anjir and uh, You can, you can easily see that uh, it has something like a uh, uh, round uh, development inside which contains the fruitlets uh, i mean it, that that's a part uh, which uh, has the uh, fruit fruit bodies and around it around it uh, you have the fleshy uh, receptacle so uh you can easily see that uh, that that's the part um, which which uh, actually is the edible part so uh so looking at the uh this particular uh, fruit and that's a fig um so the sections are that from the top you have small scales uh, um, at at the region of the pore uh, and in in the pore you have hair like uh, structures then going on we have the fruitlets and of course uh, the important uh, fleshy receptacle so this is the case about a fig and is ficus carica and of course uh, uh the common uh, uh vernacular name is anjir two other uh, very important examples are uh, the people tree and the banyan tree people of course uh, the ficus religiosa banyan ficus bengalensis so not those points also so cyconus uh, two other examples of people and um the fruits of banyan uh, the botanical name ficus bengalensis bengalensis so there's those are the two examples so in this video we uh, dealt with the last major classification of fruits and in this video Uh, it will be something like summing up um, the whole section dealing with fruits in in in, in a manner in which uh, uh, all the important examples will be taken uh, as a separate section which basically means that we'll be looking at uh, important uh, fruits uh, 
in an economical point of view in the sense that um, the important fruits which are used by the humans what is the what kind of inflorescences are those fruits belonging to what is what is a part i mean uh, those fruits which are developed from inflorescences and those fruits which are developed from ovaries and what are the uh, what are the parts of the fruit which are edible it's, it's a very important point as far as the neat exam is concerned and as well as um, the botanical perspective is concerned so that's one point which will be looking very in a detailed manner so thanks for watching and if you like then uh, find the useful find the video useful uh, please like and subscribe